my organizational method. And I'll also go over kind of like a little tutorial of what things does. Um, Cause I was using this to replace Windows, I thought it would be cool if I have a Windows button that you click on and it says start menu at the top. This image right here is customizable by default. It is the um, character equipment screen from Sword Art. And this little information blurb down here is completely customizable. If I click and hold on this, it says modify. I can click that and you can see um, edit icon, start menu, sub menu, catalog list. Um, catalog menu is just, it, it. it's menus will also be menus. And then you put things inside those menus. Um, if you wanted an infinite amount of menus, go for it, weirdo. Um, list menu is a menu of items that actually do things, and I'll show you what those are here. So you can see here it says, uh, welcome to the SAO interface, blah, 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 blah. Background image, I made it myself, um, not the default one. Um, I'm not really much of an artist, I'm more of an editor, so I totally snagged this off the interwebs along with the assets from my background. I'll go over that here in a little bit. Um, but, you know, I modified it, made it look all pretty for, for this. So anyways, what I have here is computer, programs, utilities. What I wanted this to do was mirror the way my start menu was. So my programs are on the left of my start menu where you can pin things, and my computer-related things are on the right side. Utilities is things that just, because I don't use my um, start menu, is stuff that's kind of difficult to get to. So utilities, um, calculator. I have a calculator button on my keyboard, but it's cool to have it in here. Recycle bins. I don't have one on here. I wanted to add a recycle bin. Uh, control panel, task manager, and this I will go over here in a little bit. It's the taskbar eliminator. Um, this is a list menu, by the way. These uh, these uh, options all do things. So if I click calculator, it will open the calculator. So that's a list menu. While this is a um, this just has sub menus in it. So. Um, Anyways, that's kind of my utilities. Um, I'm going to go over how to customize these here in a little bit, so don't worry about it. Uh, for computer, I just have kind of stuff that you would expect, you know. Um, me, which is my documents and things. Um, my computer just takes you to the computer. Um, home stuff is a folder I have filled with assorted random things. Um, pictures, videos, downloads. You can add more to this, as you notice, when you get a bunch more, you get the, um, the faded on the top and the uh, seamless, kind of circular, um, looped interface that they have in the show. This would be really amazing on a touchscreen, that's all I can say, that's why I'm excited to put it on a tablet. Uh, programs, so this is kind of my whole system for organizing things, is I have internet, which is the two browsers I have installed. And people would be like, why do you have Internet Explorer installed? That's because some things I have found, I have some games I've tried to play, don't like it if you don't have Internet Explorer. By that I mean you have to run up Internet Explorer to allow a plugin to install because p installing the plugin on Firefox doesn't work. It's complicated, it's convoluted, it's not for many things, but I have it in there in case. I'm a Firefox user, yes, get over it. Not a Chrome user. Um, games. Now, these are just a few games that I have installed. I've played Maple for eight years. I've uninstalled it a million times, but I, in the end, usually go poke at it every now and then, so I just leave it installed now. Steam, Mabinogi, Project Diva, as you've seen my videos for, Katawa Shoujo, favorite visual novel of all time. I do, in fact, have Minecraft. You can make this list as long as you want. This is just a few things that I actually use on a regular basis. Um... Art, uh, just assorted programs that I have for, me you know, messing with art stuff. Uh, I use Blender for 3D things. It's freeware. Um, Photoshop, Flash, After Effects, those get all my video editing and image editing done. Um, Audacity for any amount of audio editing I may do, kind of light audio editing. Not really an audio video guy. Um, Office, Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Uh, etc. Things in here like Skype, iTunes. I don't have an iDevice, actually. I have a Galaxy Note 3, but um, I used to have an iPhone, and I just never felt like replacing iTunes. It's easy enough to deal with. Um, defrag my hard drive, uh, a torrent for things. Fraps. I've seen that right now. I've actually looked for a bunch of different recording softwares, but Fraps works, so why use anything else? 
Now I'm actually going to show is this program right here. Is right now if I mouse over here, you can still see. Hey, look, there's my Skype going. There's Fraps um, and everything. And if you really don't want this, it's not a big deal being able to use it. And whenever you, if you have a bunch of like you know, if you have a bunch of windows open, it's really easy to still manage things like this. Um, in a more traditional Windows sense, this doesn't really work too great for multitasking. But if you're really, if you're getting real serious, I I found this program online. Um, it's called the Taskbar Eliminator, and I'll have a link to it down there too for anyone who wants that. And what you can do is you can have it hide the taskbar. So if you mouse down there, as you can see, there is no taskbar anymore. And there's a couple ways to open it back up, so if you forget the hotkeys that it's automatically set to, which is uh, Alt-T, shows your taskbar, Alt-T, hides your taskbar, Control-Alt-T, brings up this window. Um, if you forget about that, you can just hit the Windows key, obviously, and that will open this back up. Um, so, not a big deal, it looks like the program bugged out my little start menu deal down there it's actually pretty easy to fix if it does that um, it was originally made for people who like um, dock their um, dock their you know you know device into something I don't use docks so I don't care I uh, see now when I have it on show what that does is it just um, automatically changes the auto hide function put that back on look now it works again um, that's for if you want it, you don't have to use it. I thought it was kind of cool. It's a really great way to screw with anyone who wants to mess with your computer. Is if you hide this and give them only the Sword Art interface, they will be so confused. So anyways, that is the Sword Art Utilities. I really love it. Um, customizing is click and hold. Um, one thing that isn't really exactly covered is... I guess this is kind of the um, how to customize segment in the first part was kind of the overview segment. So something that's not covered, uh, maybe it was, I didn't read tutorials, um, is exactly how this is set up. It gives you kind of a default menu setup that I got rid of completely. What I did was I went here and then if you hold and click on modify, there is trash can. I reset my stuff because I didn't like it. No. What you can do is some people like more of this menu. I only have three because I don't need any more of that. You hit plus and you get this. Uh, you can change the name to, um, I don't know, like equipment. And then you can add a sub menu that's like a list menu or a catalog menu. Um, I'll have a catalog menu for things. Uh, these are kind of the default images that you can use for things. Um, it's kind of nifty. Um, if I go to custom I can, you know, change that if I wanted to. Um, info panel, if I want one, I can say, um, this is your SAO equipment or something. And then I can set a background image. And inside, it's wherever you keep your SAO utilities. This is just an application. This is not anything crazy. This is an application. It runs, you can turn it on, off. It's not a big deal. Um, if you want to, you can go to, you know, images, and you can go to background, and there's things in here, or you can go to symbol, um, and there's a few deals in there. You can use some of their pre-made ones. Um, I kind of specifically, this was the, this was the default one that, um, this menu came with. This had, uh, as you can see, here's my menu up here. Um, it had this here. I changed it to a custom image that I made. I thought that had a cool oomph. Um, I, I kind of jokingly called the uh, my background that I photoshopped and the taskbar hider and the utilities tool, the um, SAO OS, because if you put all of that on your computer, it totally looks like it's stored art online all, and people will be confused. Um, this, um, as you can see, it says unknown. You can then modify this to have a submenu, list menu, and you can change your icon to, I don't know, a, a blank CD for one reason, it looks like a bullseye. You click on that, now this is a list menu. And this you can hold and click on, and here's where I'm gonna go over how this all works. This is actually customizing what your actions will do, what your things will run or whatever. 
so I can change this to um, there's the uh, the suite. I don't use 3ds Max, I use Blender. Um, but if you wanted this to be like, oh, I'm going to run Photoshop, then what you can do is set the Photoshop icon, which I thought was pretty nifty that they included this. You can customize all of those if you want. I'm thinking I will for some of my programs here later. Um, confirm before action. That basically makes it there where the window pops up and says, are you sure you want to execute? I'll show you that in here a second. And other than that, you can make it a uh, launch program. Um, any program. I could make it launch, I don't know, a GBA emulator, Visual Boy Advance. Um, and I hit OK. I'll click this. And it says, are you sure you want to execute unknown? Oh, I forgot to change its name. Here, let's make it uh, GBA. So are you sure you want to launch GBA? Yes. And poof, there is Visual Boy Advance for all your Game Boy Advance emulation needs. Now, one thing that I can say about this is if you want it to reference something that you can't really find, uh, you're going to have to use commands. Now you can make it launch a single file, so you can make it open a folder, you can make it go to a URL. If you want it to launch something that's not really a thing, you have to use this. And this is a shell command. If you're not familiar with shell commands, I would recommend googling what shell commands are. Shell commands are a way to tell Windows to do stuff. Just stuff. Um, I had no idea what they were until I started messing with this. Uh, anyways, I want to get rid of that menu because I don't like it. And for the shell commands, I had to use that to open my recycle bin. So here, I'll just kind of show you what you have to do. Basically, it's Explorer, Shell, colon, Recycle Bin Folder. And what that does is it tells Explorer, Windows Explorer, to execute the shell command to locate and open the recycle bin folder and you also have to do that for like the task manager and the control panel and the calculator calc.exe that's what that's called by the way super easy um, I also had to do that for um, if I click my computer it doesn't take me to my C drive as you notice up here it takes me to my computer um, I had to also get shell commands for that you can find those online, honestly. Um, I'll show that to you just in case anyone wants to know what the shell command is for that. It's explorer shell my computer folder. You might be seeing a pattern here. Maybe you can experiment with that. Hmm? Maybe? Careful, because it can cause crazy nonsense. So anyways, if you notice when I'm when I'm clicking on this, it just instantaneously opens, but when I have programs, I like to make it so that it is are you sure? That's mostly because it's real easy to open up pictures and close pictures um, if you accidentally click the wrong thing. But if I'm opening my games and I click Project Diva and I want Katawa Shoujo, it says, oh, you have to wait for Project Diva to launch. Well, no, I don't. Um, I can just say, nope, sorry, click the wrong thing and do that. So all in all, this is a really powerful tool. Um, I really like it. I think it's nifty. Honestly, people will be like, well, it's infinitely slower than using, you know, a default Windows interface. And I kind of, I mean, if I wanted to, you know, open up Firefox right now, I can just do that, 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 Firefox, yes. So it's pretty, pretty simple once you know what you're doing. Um, you can just do stuff. And I think that is actually one of the really strong points of this, is it's really user-friendly to the people who know what the hell they're doing. If you know what you're doing, you can just launch programs like here, I got Katawa Shoujo going. For all you visual novel people, if you haven't already played this, go play this. This is like the best visual novel to introduce you to visual novels. Um, I don't have any safe data on this because I have a uh, Katawa Shoujo app on my phone that um, I use. It's an Android port that someone did. You can find it if you're interested. The reason this is the best visual novel um, is you can turn adult content off if you're not down with that. Um, I don't care. So, anyways, that has been the SAO utilities. And guess what? you can actually log out.